Couple of days ago, my friend bought a popular transparent power bank with only 15 bucks. But within two days I found it in the trash. The awful power bank couldn't even fully charge a phone once. And it repeatedly restart if it has less than 20% power left. As a girl who mostly relies on shared power banks, I was not interested in buying a power bank, but I felt that the housing of the power bank not bad and deserved to have a transformation. Let's start to transform it. We choose SW6208 as the controller for the power part. The iSmartWare SW6208 is a high integration chip with multi-protocol and bi-directional fast charging protocol support. It integrates power control module, fast charging protocol module, power path controller and other control modules. Fast charging is now a basic requirement for power banks. During fast charging, the power bank should provide an output voltage of 12 voltage or even higher. However, the lithium batteries used in power banks can typically provide 3.7 volts. How does the power bank produce such high voltage output under 3.7 volts input? The answer goes to the power control module of the chip. The SW6208 uses a boost circuit. Under control of the fast charge protocol module, the voltage output from the battery is increased to normal charge and fast discharge voltage leveraging the combination of inductance and capacitance. The boosted voltage is then controlled by MOSFET and other circuits then transmitted to charging devices, such as mobile phones and headphones. SW6208 can be controlled via I2C so we can read status of power bank while it's working. Thus we chose ESP32 as the MCU. ESP32 can be programmed to support many interesting functions while ensuring basic charging work. Battery safety is critical for power banks. So we choose DW01 as battery protection chip to prevent overcharging, overdischarging, and overcurrent. These are all core designs of our smart power bank. Hardware of this project has already been open sourced. Please visit the project link if you are interested. See you next time.